Busch Stadium III is one of the most well-attended ballparks in America. The home of the St. Louis Cardinals, it has hosted Cardinal fans for 16 years. But why is it that this stadium, in one of the league's mid-sized markets, in a city that's experienced much population loss over the last 70 years, so successful? This is why Busch Stadium works. Busch Stadium was constructed from 2004 to 2006 on a site right next to its cookie cutter predecessor, Busch Stadium II. Opening in 2006, it would not even be completely finished upon its opening. When it was finished during the season, it would have just under 47,000 capacity, making it one of baseball's largest venues. The stadium's inaugural season was a hit, being a complete sellout, and the Cardinals would win the World Series at their new home that year. In the years since opening, the stadium has regularly sold out and has never averaged less than 38,000 fans a game per season. Even as MLB attendance and attendance at similar ballparks have dipped, attendance at Bush has remained strong and steady, with the Cardinals never finishing worse than fourth in the National League in attendance. So why does it all work? Why is it that this ballpark can outdraw several larger markets with larger population bases, especially when the city of St. Louis has lost more than half its population since 1950? First and probably foremost is tradition and winning. St. Louis is arguably the best baseball city in America. Even in an age where NFL football has surpassed MLB baseball in popularity, this has not been the case in St. Louis. While the Cardinals have consistently sold out in more recent years, the Rams would finish bottom five in attendance their final eight years in St. Louis. And that was a team that only had to sell eight games a year as opposed to 81. St. Louis always has been and remains a baseball city. Its history is long and storied in baseball. The St. Louis Brown Stockings were a founding member of the National League in 1876, and the Cardinals were members of the National League's Classic Eight, formed in 1900. In fact, baseball was so popular in St. Louis that it also had an AL team, known as the St. Louis Browns, who were in St. Louis for 52 seasons, who eventually became the Baltimore Orioles, thus giving the Cardinals sole possession of the St. Louis market by the 1950s. A river city in the heartland of America, St. Louis just culturally has held on to baseball as its preferred sport, and the Cardinals even drew well in the final years of Busch Stadium II, a much lesser venue than its successor. Then there is the winning. The team, with its 11 World Series wins, has the most of any team in the National League and the second most in all of Major League Baseball. The Cardinals have also had only one losing season at Busch since it opened in 2006. Also, despite the city of St. Louis itself losing almost half a million people since 1950, its combined statistical area population has stayed stable and still ranks as the 20th most populated in the U.S., with just over 2.9 million people. In fact, the attendance today dwarfs that of when the city of St. Louis itself had many more people, who also would have been living closer by. Given this, fans are traveling from farther out of town to see their team. To put it simply, it's a large regional draw. Then, there is the venue itself. It was built after most of the multi-purpose and jewel box ballparks had been replaced in the 90s and early 2000s, and had a lot of concrete info on newer stadiums to see what worked well and didn't work well. A classic brick facade, impressive views of the city, combined with modern amenities. The stadium is definitely one of the better in baseball. A combination of heartland historical baseball tradition, a solid franchise that wins, and a fan base willing to go the distance for its team. The memory of when baseball was America's pastime remains alive at Busch Stadium. Thank you for watching.